Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Ravella Design. Today I'm going to show you how we are going to make these beautiful, cute little daisies. Of course, they will be not uh, with the yarn. I just make this uh, in order to in order to get a decorative look. Uh, it is really very easy, dear friends. In one day you can make many. For this project, we need a yellow and white cotton yarn and a hook three and a half millimeters. We are starting from the center with yellow color, dear friends. We are making three chains firstly. Don't make the chains tight. Make the chains a bit loose. This is chain one, two, and three. And then we are making a circle. While making the circle, we are inserting our hook in the first uh, chain and we are keeping the, this this here. We are keeping this one. Yarn over, pull through. And then we are making four chains. One, two, three, and four. Yarn over. I am inserting my hook in the place that I keep with my fingers because it is the circle that I make the double crochets. I am making a double crochet, dear friends. I am making a double crochet like this, making one chain, inserting my hook in the same place, yarn over, pull through, and making a double crochet, making one chain, inserting my hook in the same place, making a double crochet again, like this, making one chain, inserting my hook in the same place, one chain, making a double crochet, it should be eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, I have to make two more, I made one chain, inserting my hook in the same place. It's been seven. Once again, making another double crochet. One chain. Now we will finish with this row. For this reason, I am counting these chains. Let me close it for you. You will remember when we start, we made four chains. One, two, three. I am inserting my hook in the third chain, yarn over, pull through, making a slip stitch, making one chain, and I am cutting the yarn. I am finished with the first row, dear friends. Like this, I am cutting the yarn. Like this. Now I will go on with a white color. I am taking white color in my hand, inserting my hook in one of the space. First of all, I am making a chain like this. After fixing the white yarn in this space, I am making one chain. I am making one single stitch and then two double crochet. This is one, this is two, and making one single stitch in the same place. And like this, like this, we finish the first petal of the flower. Now I am going to the following space, making a single stitch in there. Later on, making two double crochet. This is one, and this is two, 
and making a single stitch in the same place and like this we finish the second pedal. Now I am going to the following space. This is the one. I am making two double crochet. This is one double crochet. This is second double crochet. Making a single stitch in there. The first pedal is finished as well. Like this we are going to the end, dear friends. Yes, like this I am finished uh, all the pedals of the daisy. Now I am inserting my hook in the first stitch that I start making a slip stitch in there and making one chain and cutting the yarn. As you see it is really very easy dear friends. It is finished in a few moments. Now there are uh, remained yarns. I will show you how we are going to hide them. This is the remained yarn when we finish the daisy. I am taking a small hook in my hand. This is two millimeters hook. You know we started this, da this daisy with three and a half millimeter hook and when I hide the yarn I am taking a smaller hook in my hand and like this uh, I can slide the uh, I can slide the yarn between the stitches easy. I'm turning back in order to fix it and then I will cut this last remained end. There is also this one. First of all I'm, keep, I'm uh, pulling the yarn. When I pull this you see uh, the hole in the center disappeared totally. You see there is no hole now because I pulled it. It is long. I am cutting it a bit and I will hide in the same way. I will hide the remain ends in the same way I showed you. I will just slide it between the stages like this. Yes, I am doing this a few times. You see, it is enough. There is some remained yarn as well. I am just cutting this. And there are some, I see some yarn here. I'm just cutting those in order to clean. I am looking at, it is okay. It is clean totally. This is all what I try to show you dear friends 
Yes, dear friends, we came to the end of another project video. As you see today, it's uh, really a beginner friendly project, but you can use these uh, daisies in many projects, in many cro uh, crochet projects. You can make crochet jewelry, you can make necklace, earrings, you can use this ornamenting the headbands, uh, crochet hats, crochet tops, crochet. Uh, hats uh, and the crochet bags as well, crochet blankets you can ornament. Uh, so it's very functional. I actually love crocheting this kind of uh, flowers. They are really lovely. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video till now. Please remember to subscribe my YouTube channel, activate the info ring, please leave like remarks and make comments and share my videos in order to support me for my future video tutorials, dear friends. Thank you so much again. See you in the coming videos.